What up guys and welcome back. Today we're back on the trailer and we are going to finally get our roof vent installed. And I also picked up two solar panels this week. Those came a couple days ago. So we're gonna get those installed as well. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the panels that I picked up this week. These are 200 watt monocrystalline panels. Um, I did a fair amount of research trying to find some panels that were, you know, of good quality, but also a pretty good price. You know, I don't want to spend, you know, as I've said before, this is kind of a budget build. I don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, so I found these ones uh, actually on Amazon and they have a five star review, like the best review or the best uh, reviewed solar panels that I could find. Um, so I went ahead and picked these two up. I believe they were 180 or 190 bucks a piece. So that's not too bad of a price uh, compared to some other ones that I've seen. Um, so we got those. And then I also got our brackets to mount the panels to the roof. Those, are, those come separately. Uh, they sent me one set of just brushed aluminum and then the other set are black. I'm not sure why, I don't know if they screwed up or if I screwed up ordering them. But any case, they're gonna be on the roof, so I don't really care, I'm not gonna see them. Um, so I got those, I got two bulkheads. Now these basically mount to the roof, and that's where you run your cables down through, and then you can seal them so they're watertight. Um, I got some adapters, and then some extension cables. Once again, as always guys, I will go ahead and link all this stuff in the description of the video, so if you're interested, you can just go ahead and click on the link. So yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, the first thing I wanna do before I get these installed is I want to uh, kind, of get, kind of get them set on the roof along with our roof vent and kind of just figure out where I wanna install them on the roof or how I want them oriented. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is kind of how we laid everything out. Um, I kept the panels kind of side by side towards the back of the trailer just to kind of take some more weight uh, and move it closer to the back of the trailer because uh, we are going to have a lot of weight in the front. So it'll kind of even it out. And then we have our roof vent kind of sitting where we want it in between two of the rafters. Um, so I think first things first, let's go ahead and mark where we're going to cut our hole for our roof vent and we'll go ahead and get that installed. So I wanted to use a uh, butyl tape to seal this roof vent, but they actually didn't have it at my hardware store. So we're just gonna go ahead and silicone this thing. Um, butyl tape's a little bit better because it doesn't crack over time um, and it's easily removable, uh, whereas caulk acts kind of like a glue. Um, but unfortunately they didn't have it and I forgot to order it. 
Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and silicone this thing uh, and it'll be just fine, it'll work just fine. So roof vent is installed. So let's go ahead and move on to our solar panels. So we got our solar panels mounted. So next up, I wanna go ahead and uh, route our wiring down through the roof with our bulkhead fittings or our bulkhead units, whatever the heck you call these things. And then we can start wiring these things up. All right, so as I was installing these bulkheads, I realized that the camera wasn't recording really irritates me when I do that in any case basically all I've done was <clears throat> I'm taking the ends these come with a male and a female end ones for positive ones for negative and they're labeled um, but these ends actually come off so what you do <clears throat> is you take these ends off and then these bulkhead things come with these little uh, adapters and what <clears throat> how it works is you'll slide the wire through one of these little pieces and there's like a rubber uh kind of like a rubber seal inside of here and so then whenever you tighten this down you'll see whenever i do it whenever you tighten this down it squeezes that rubber uh bushing around the wire and creates a, a, a watertight seal 
So then all I did was I drilled two holes uh, through the roof, and then what I'll do is I'll run the wires through this, down through the ceiling, which I actually put two rubber grommets in here, and then I'll silicone the outside of this, screw it down, and I have a nice watertight bulkhead for my solar panel wires to run through. So these are some really, I was, I was unsure, you know, what these were like <clears throat> when I got them, but they had some pretty good reviews, but they're really, really nice. Uh, they're plastic, but they're, they're nice and sturdy. They're watertight. So I'm pretty happy about these. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up and then we'll move on to wiring. So we got our roof vent installed, solar panels installed, and we got our wiring ran through the ceiling. Everything looks really good. I'm really impressed with these panels, uh, as, as well as these bulkhead uh, adapters. Uh, big fan of this stuff. So, so at this point, I think we're ready to go ahead and finish wiring these up on the inside. We're gonna connect them up to our uh, solar charge controller, and then we'll connect that up to our battery and then these solar panels should be up and running. All right, so it's actually been a couple days since that last clip because in preparation uh, for wiring up our solar panels, I actually moved our batteries uh, over to kind of the middle of the trailer. Uh, I'll show you in a second what I did, but I moved our batteries and I didn't have enough battery cable to reach all the way to our kind of distribution uh, box in the cabinet. So I had to go ahead and order some battery cable, but battery cable came today, so we are up and running. I also went ahead and I kind of just wired up um, our recess lights just temporarily. I kind of just rigged them up uh, more or less so that I had some light in here so that I can work at night. Um, so real quick, I'll show you kind of what I did and then we'll go ahead and get started uh, wiring up our uh, solar charge controller and as well as our vent fan. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and I moved our batteries kind of right over top of the axle on the right side of the trailer. And then I am planning on putting our fresh water tank, I think, uh, on this side. So that'll kind of even it out, even though, I mean, it's really not a big deal, you know, having, you know, a perfect weight distribution from side to side. I mean, batteries are a little bit heavy, but it's, not that big of a deal, um, but I would prefer to take the weight off the front of the trailer. So that's why I figured I'll mount our fresh water tank back here. Um, because obviously when I'm, when we go camping, our fresh water tank is going to be full. And then I'll probably put our, uh, gray water tank under this, under the sink in this cabinet. And then whenever we, you know, whenever we leave or whatever, I'll just empty the gray water tank uh, so we're not pulling it you know we're not pulling the trailer 
you know, with the gray water tank completely full. Uh, so, <clears throat> like I said, went ahead and moved those. And then I ran battery cables from the battery all the way around and then back down to our uh, bus bars down there. Uh, and then I also went ahead and I installed the, uh, these are kind of like splitters almost. Um, they take, because we're running two panels, they take the two positives and make them into one and then two negatives make them into one. So they just, you know, they just basically go from two wires to one wire and then that makes it nice so you can just run those two wires straight to your charge controller which we're going to mount on that wall. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right guys, so real quick before we get started, I just wanted to mention I did end up picking up a new solar charge controller. Um, this is a Renogy uh, 30 amp MPPT charge controller. Now, the one we had before was just a little 10 amp. Uh, I think it was rated at 150 watts, uh, which just wasn't gonna cut it. We have 400 watts of solar panels on the roof of this. So I needed something a little bit, uh, that was rated a little bit higher current. Uh, and I ended up going with an MPPT one, uh, just because they're a little bit better than the pulse width modulated charge controllers. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot more that goes into them, um, but basically the gist of it is an MPPT charger is much more efficient than the like conventional pulse width modulated controllers. So they're a little bit more expensive, but this one actually wasn't bad. Like I said, it's a 30 amp unit. I think this was 130 bucks on Amazon. It had really good reviews, so I ended up going with this. Um, so I just kind of wanted to mention that, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and get it installed. Okay, so we got it mounted to the wall. Um, basically, these things are super easy to set up. Um, basically, you have two ports for your panels, so positive and negative. And then you have two ports for your battery, positive and negative. And then there's another two ports. Now, these are for loads. So you can, if you want, you can hook uh, a load up to this, lights or you know what have you. Uh, and this, you can actually have those powered up fr straight from the charge controller. You would obviously want to fuse those, um, uh, but we're not gonna do that, or at least I don't believe I'm going to use that at all. Uh, and then there's, they give you a battery temp sensor uh, that plugs right into this, and you can run that down to your battery. Uh, and that'll help with um, charging and whatnot. It'll keep the battery, uh, it'll monitor the battery temp um, and then I believe this is for like a Bluetooth um, like module that you can buy separately to control it with your phone or something like that if I'm not mistaken. Um, so let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and obviously it's pitch black out so we are not going to have any type of charging going on but uh, we can at least turn it on make sure everything works and go from there. All right, 
right, so we got our charge controller all wired up. Um, I have absolutely no idea how to use this thing. Uh, it's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You hook it up and it just starts charging, but there's all kinds of different, different things. This is my battery charge percentage, I believe. Uh, that would be the amperage flowing from my panel to the battery. Uh, that would be panel voltage. Not really sure. It's battery voltage, which is a little bit low. I haven't, you know, I haven't had anything hooked up to this battery for a while, you know, and I've had these lights on the trailer for quite some time. So, you know, battery's starting to drop a little bit. That would be like current flowing from the battery to the load. I don't know. I don't know. I will have to uh, read these, you know, read the manual that comes with it, kind of learn how to use it and whatnot, but pretty straightforward. Um, I'm pretty happy with this unit. It's a lot bigger and robust than the previous one that I had. That one was really, you could just tell it was real cheap and chintzy. I think I paid $20 for it or something like that. So, you know, this is a much better unit. Uh, the other thing I didn't like about that one was there was no way to kind of hide the wires uh, because the where the wires came into the unit, it was like almost flush with the front of it. So it'd be hard to hide them Whereas these wires, you know, these wires sit, you know, kind of they're recessed back into the panel so I can kind of hide the wires. You won't see them, you know, after I have the wall up and everything is finished. Um, so I kind of like that. But so, yeah, that's about it as far as the uh, solar system goes. Obviously, we got to wait until we get some daylight because uh, it is pitch black out right now. Uh, it's about nine o'clock, nine thirty at night. So once we have some daylight, we'll be able to see, you know, how much power we're actually able to get from these panels, which I'm anxious to see. So uh, let's go ahead and get our vent fan wired up and make sure that works. And then I'll probably wrap this video up. Why isn't it working? Ooh, I bet it has to be open. That makes sense. Hey, there we go. One, two, three. Sweet. All right, guys, so our solar system is complete along with our vent fan. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way everything turned out. Uh, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and really the only thing I have left to wire up at this point is going to be our water pump for the sink, which I have to figure out how I'm going to do my plumbing. And then we can go ahead and get that thing installed. And then the only other thing is going to be just wiring up a few outlets. I'm going to have a couple outlets on the sides of the trailer here and then a couple uh, behind the kitchen. Uh, and then that's pretty much it for the wiring. Uh, obviously the lights are just kind of temporarily installed right now. You know, once I put the ceiling up, I'll permanently install those and wire them up correctly. So yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap this video up. Once again, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we will catch you next time. Peace.